What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Joe Weeder, the bust, sitting there looking all big, chest up in his chin area, dude's looking on swole. Was that Joe Weeder's chest? As you guys know, I worked at Weeder Publications from 1999 through 2004. And in that time, I saw a lot of things. I knew a lot of things. I was a part of a lot of things. However, one thing that everybody knew is that bust. Although the public didn't know this, it was just people internally at Weeder, that bust was actually none other than the Black Prince, Robbie Robinson. Who is the Black Prince Robbie Robinson? The Black Prince. A man who spanned generations, competed well into his 40s, just did a guest posing at a NABA contest in his 70s, looking peeled and diced, still trains out in Venice Beach, California. I actually met him when I was working for Weeder Publications and he actually tried to start a supplement line back in the early 2000s. Forgot the name of his business partner, but uh, it was right down there. If you guys know the area on the way to LAX from Culver City, right down there by Dinah's, remember Dinah's? Little Mexican place there, right by the Culver City sign. It was right there and uh, that's where it was. Robbie, because of this, actually sued Joe in 2005 for the use of the bust. I'm not quite sure what came of that, but the thing is people look at it, and when I bought Weeder Mass Gainer back when I was a kid training in the mid 90s, I remember I bought it and you saw Joe Weeder up here. And you never saw Joe looking like that ever. And the reason being, it was essentially Robbie Robinson's body and Joe Weeder's head. And when you walked into Weeder headquarters, Weeder was an amazing building um, around the trim. It was in Woodland Hills, California on Irwin Street. On the trim were these Greek um, figures, like, and there were Greek statues and lions in the front. You walk in and there was, I think, the biggest collection of sculptures in like California. It was crazy. And then, but front and center was the iconic bust of Joe Weeder standing there. And little did people know, and a lot of people still don't know, that that bust was actually Robbie Robinson's chest and arms and Joe Weeder's head. It led to a lawsuit. However, I think we need to look beyond the lawsuit and look at the fact that these are two iconic individuals. Joe Weeder is pretty much the one who brought bodybuilding to the forefront, who invented modern day bodybuilding, who progressed modern day bodybuilding. And Robbie Robinson is one of the most ageless, iconic bodybuilders showing you that not only can you achieve health, fitness, and a great look and huge Olympia caliber body, at a young age, but he's pretty much maintained most of it well into his 70s, a testament to hard work, a testament to a healthy lifestyle, and a testament to fucking great genetics. Anyway, so that's the story. The bust of Joe Weeder actually is a bust because it's not even fucking his. It's Robbie Robinson's. Guys, thanks so much for watching. That's another little tidbit on my days working for Weeder Publications, and that's not a game.